What's up guys, Perry from Rockville here and today I'm gonna show you how to use the MIDI out and the MIDI in on the R-Track 2x2. Now on the back of the interface we have a MIDI in so we can send MIDI information from a controller like a keyboard, drum pad right into the interface. And we also have a MIDI out so we can send MIDI from our computer out to an analog piece of gear like keyboards, drum pads, etc. So to sum it up, we would use the MIDI in if we want to trigger the software instrument from an external controller, and use the MIDI out to send a pre-composed MIDI file out to an analog synth so that it's playing without us even touching it. So first we'll start with the MIDI in. So to start, I'm going to open up a software instrument which on Logic Pro X is done like this. Next I'm going to take a 5 pin MIDI cable. Plug one end into the MIDI in on my interface, then plug the other end into the MIDI out on my controller. So from here I can choose any synth that I want to have loaded up on my channel here. And now if I play on my keyboard, you'll see that it starts to play. So now to show how the MIDI out works, we have this composed MIDI file here that we want to send out to the keyboard. So now I'm going to take one end of my MIDI cable and plug it into the MIDI out on my interface, then plug the other end into the MIDI in on my keyboard. So next I'm going to want to go into my DAW and create an external MIDI track, and then I'm going to take the MIDI data that I recorded earlier and place it down onto that track. And now I have my synth plugged into my amp here so we can hear the data coming through the synth and out of the speaker. And now if I press play, you'll be able to hear the MIDI coming out of our interface into our synth and out of our speaker. So now if I wanted to record that back into my DAW, I can take an instrument cable, plug one end into the output of my synth, then plug the other end into the input on my interface. Next I'm going to set up an audio track on my DAW, set it up to input 1 since we plugged the synth into input 1, and now if I hit record, you'll see the signal coming through our track and hitting the DAW. Now to hear it back, I can mute my external MIDI channel, and now we can play what we recorded. So hopefully this showed you guys how easy it is to set up the MIDI out and the MIDI in on your R-Track 2x2, but if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to our customer support team through phone or email. As always, I'm Perry from Rockville, and we'll see you guys next time.